Are you ready for the Low Bros Network? It's the show where you control what's on the agenda. Ask us anything and we're broad bound to answer. So, Rick Nash, Corporate King, and the Queen of Irish Wrestling, Lady Hardy, it's Ask Low Bros. I actually completely forgot it was my show. I was, wait- I was waiting for you to do the intro. This is the uh, this is the unique edition of Ask Low Blows because we might actually not have any questions. That's you gave questions. You gave all the questions. Don't get uh, really good questions. Fantastic batch of questions, yeah. but it's very late and we're doing a draft. <laughs> this is the Ask Low Blows draft edition. Of course, I'm Corporate Key and joined by Rick Nash, the Fight Factory GM, the NLW ring announcer, yeah, sure. former wrestler. Commentator, and done it all. Okay, what? so we got. Uh, <laughs> I was like, why is he building me up so much? What's so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, my doc, the doc wasn't open, so I don't actually know what to say. Yes, there's a draft. Um, I. Well, we'll just jump into the rules. Yeah, that- yeah. Look, so the, the backstory of this is Keith, uh, Keith Hanley, bit of Street GM on Twitter. Uh, got on a couple of weeks ago and asked us if we'd be interested in doing a draft on the same week as SmackDown do their draft, and yeah, so we're like, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna do a draft tonight, and yeah, you, you if you want to explain the rules, yeah, yeah, it's like fancy football, so uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should probably mention that, yeah, it's kind of like fancy football, if you know how that works. If you don't, don't worry. basically we draft. I'll get into the rules in a sec. We draft. Uh, wrestlers and how well they do in real life reflects how we how well we do in this kind of competition. Yeah. So, e- all right. Rule number one. I'm gonna do no. I'm gonna do it in Japanese. Count in Japanese, right? Rule. Itch. I forget what one. I forget what one is in Japanese. Itch. So itch is one in Japanese. No, it was, it, it was itchy. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, it was. Uh, but we're gonna revert back to English. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna abandon that now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, each person picks two men from WWE, two men from AEW, one ro- one woman from WWE, one woman from AEW. I don't know if Keith is sexist or you know <laughs> if that's no. I, I assume it's because there's less, significantly less with AEW. I didn't notice yeah. this until I was looking at it earlier. There is their division is there's like five or six. This is quite thin, like yeah. you know what I mean. But uh, one tag team from WWE, one tag team from AEW. Uh, there will be a draft. Sorry, I'm really tired. So sorry if I butcher this. There'll be a draft for each person to pick wrestlers. Uh, th- draft. Oh, no, I'm going to read out the numbers anymore. Draft will be in snake order. And I like this one, right? So if you don't know what snake order is, instead of it going, say, Rick, Key, and Katie, Rick, Key, and Katie, Rick, Key, and Katie, it'll be Rick, Key, and Katie, Katie, Key, and Rick, Rick, Key, and Katie. So it kind of goes like yeah. back and forth as opposed to in a circle, if that makes Keep sense. It yeah, yeah, it, it does work out well. Draft order will be decided by myself via online wheel. Did this. this, this Oh wait, I don't know if that happened. Oh yeah. wait, I forgot to talk to Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so that pr- we're probably ruling that out. I, I've got a way to figure out the draft order. Yeah, cause we're already we'll get to we have to do it now. So yeah, like, we'll, get to, we'll get to that. We'll rule that one out. I've got a way to figure it out. <laughs> um, tag teams. Okay, this is, tag teams are an interesting one. So tag teams will be considered established tag teams at the time of the draft. If tag team splits, you can keep them, but will only get points for one of the competitors. And I think it's whichever one does better yeah. by default. That's the points that count. Um, if you wish to sub a wrestler or a tag team, it, it'll be done by DM on Twitter to Keith before the beginning of the show that they're on. Um, I don't know. So does that, is there, I don't know if there's a limit on transfers. I, I we, well, we can't keep the same. We can't do the same wrestlers. I reckon we're, we talk it out on the air. If you, like, you can put in a claim for a wrestler on the air week by week because we're going to be keeping score on this. Should we do like a fan? You know the way in the Premier League fancy football where it's like if you make any more than like one transfer or two transfers, you yeah. lose points. We could yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting that's a good one. way. Yeah, no, yeah, we'll figure this out as we go. Yeah, it's interesting. It's inter- yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. We'll figure it out as we go along. Um, I scroll down by an accent. There we are. Number <laughs> seven uh, draft will be this week on one of the shows and run until WrestleMania. Or until you lose interest. I don't think we're gonna lose interest. No. I think this is gonna be good. This yeah, is gonna be solid. Like, I don't think you understand how much time and effort. Well, not Katie, because... Uh, I'm, I'm doing mine right now. Yeah, she's doing it right now. <laughs> Bad move. I literally spent hours today. I, I genuinely, yeah. I'd say two hours figuring out, like, not only my picks, but, like, my reserve picks in case my picks get picked. Yeah. So it's like, I'm in on this. Rick's the same. We I both, did a whole bus journey in. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're both kind of into drafts, and that sort of yeah. shit. It's really interesting. I love it. Uh, 
eight, if if one member of a tag team wrestles as a singles, they get the points. But if both wrestle singles matches and only one counts, and that's what I said earlier, the one with the most points are the ones that count. So this is an interesting one, right? And I, I'll, I'll try not to fuck up this. This is the important part. <laughs> um, how the points are kind of decided. So a re- when a wrestler has a match on TV, that's five points. Just for being there, just for playing the game, five points. If they have a match on pay-per-view or a takeover, that's ten points. Mm-hmm. If they win the match that they're in, that's five points again on top of that. If they win a, if they win a title match, so, um, yeah, that's like seven explanatory. They win a title match, uh, 20 points. If they lose, a, I, I don't know if this means lose in a title match or lose the title. I think... It just oh. says title loss. Oh, no, I'd say they lose the title. Really, though? Because if you, if you fuck t- up... A title win, right, because look, because then he separates title retention. So, title win, title loss, title retention. Okay, okay. So, I'd okay, say okay. it's losing the belt. Title retention t- is at 10 points, right? So Minus 10 You points. might have a wrestler, and fuck it, I'll name him. <laughs> Brock Lesnar. I'm just going to throw him out there. And he might not be on TV every week, so you might not be getting those five points every week, but he could retain his title at the pay-per-view at the end of, at the, end of the month, and there's more points than you would have got otherwise. Yeah. So, it's... It's a really interesting one. You know what I mean? There's a lot of strategy here. A Royal Rumble win is 50 points, and that's something I didn't even think about. Uh, that's, that's a lot of points. Mm. But are you going to gamble on one match to get all those points? This is it. Uh, WrestleMania weekend, that's the final weekend. The points are doubled. So if, if it's close going into WrestleMania weekend, uh, it could come down to that. You know what I mean? It's very, yeah. very interesting. Um, Rick has apparently come up with a way of deciding the order, and I'm not comfortable with it at all, because Tony Kenny, you may have fucked me up accidentally. I love you. I love you to bits. But you may have fucked me up on this one. <laughs> yeah, because, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one way we can settle this, and that's where another game of. Queen versus King. So, how's this gonna work? Queen versus King. I don't know, Rick, it was your idea. To figure <laughs> out who gets the first pick in the draft. But I am involved, so how does this matter? Okay, so the lucky number is 15. You have to consider that at all stages, right? You're going to play a game of Queen versus Keen. If both of you get fi- over 15, I get last pick. All right? Oh, fuck's sake. If one of you gets over 15 and wins, you get first pick. So you don't have to think of any Hall of Famers. Yes, the, only way I, the only way I... No, well, 15 is a fair number, I think. There's one way no. we could do it with all three of us having to name Hall well, of Famers. Go on. And that's the quick fire name round. That's As what I was thinking. I say one, he says one, you say one, and the first oh. person who can't think of one is knocked out. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, I like that. We play this in the car all the time. Okay, I like that, I like that. So Tony Kenny, yeah, he got on, uh, yeah, he asked. Oh, this such, I didn't study for this, man. I literally don't know any Hall of Famers. I don't follow the Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? Do you, you want to read those questions or lie or? Oh, sorry, yeah, I didn't read <laughs> <laughs> um, Queen versus Ke- Queen. Anyway, this week, uh, <laughs> a lot of old lads getting towards the end of their careers these days. Johnny Sexton, 35 years of age. Buffon, 42 years of age. Both examples of future Hall of Famers. In 30 seconds, list as many WWE Hall of Famers as possible. Don't forget about the Legacy Hall of Farmers. I don't know what Hall of Farmers are, nor do I know what a Legacy <laughs> Hall of Farmer is. But uh, Hall of Famers, he wants to name them. And um, I'm going to be very bad at this. Presumably, we don't get 30 seconds between <laughs> Each pick. Yeah, we just knock someone out, and then the final two just keep naming ones okay. until someone H- yeah, someone okay dies. H- how do you? How do we? We oh, if we knew if we knew this, I would have brought the two word tango music. Yeah, do yeah. You have two word tango. I might have it. Hold on. I I'm, don't know what that is. Two word tango is. Uh, do you know the game we play at parties sometimes, where it's like. Yeah, that stresses me out. That's really good. Actually, that's one of my favorite like kind of mini games. Oh, please let me have it here. Oh no, it's not the Dropbox. No! Oh, look, you right, okay. I'm manually. gonna do it. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. do it. I'm gonna sing it. So, 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 guys, if you don't know it, I'm gonna sing <laughs> For Rick's one. For Rick's turn, I'm gonna be like. No, I'll do it and I'll include myself in it, alright? Because that'll make it harder on me because I. How are you gonna name it if you're. Singing because the, the, mu- yeah, yeah, the music you say it on stops. the cue. The music stops. Oh yeah, that's okay. when you have to say it. So you don't say it like while the music's playing. You say it when it stops and the music okay, gets quicker. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We'll All right, see, well, who manual goes, two word but tango. But who goes first in the two word tango though? Oh, <laughs> Queen Risky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Who, do either do either one of you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. You want to go first? There we go. No. Oh, that's okay, the advantage. Okay. No. Be, no, no. I just think of a Hall of Famer. All right. You ready? Yeah. 
Did it, did it, did it, did it. Honky Tonk Man. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Tully Blanchard. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Hulk Hogan. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Sting. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Coco Beware. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Jake Snake Roberts. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Junkyard Dog. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Terry Funk. Did it, did it, did it, did it. The Four Horsemen. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Bret Hart. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Trish Stratus. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Lita. Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 Beth Phoenix. <laughs> Edge. <laughs> Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Bret Hart. <laughs> 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 no, 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 that's way too much time. Uh, you give us way too much time. That's it. Okay, right. You can't repeat it right, so I'm third. <laughs> Triple H. <laughs> Ollie Anderson. <laughs> Billy Gunn. <laughs> Cindy Lauper. That's oh, That's I don't know. Man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it because we could go all night. Yeah. Corbin Keane, you've got first pick. You've got second long. pick. I've got third. Oh, I don't even care about you this know, the thing. Is, I was actually gonna like, after, if if Katie got that, I was gonna be like, you know, fuck it. Second pick, sorry, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, second pick, you're never fucked. But yeah, well, 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 nothing is bad. All right, so now as well, oh, you, can pick, you can pick any like you can pick whatever order. You know, like that's part of the game. See, I'm think I'm changing my order last second. So yeah, but what, what Rick means by that, by the way, is uh, WWE men, WWE women. We've no, we can just whichever one we want. We'll call out first. You know what I mean? So but if say if you call out AEW man, do yeah. then w- do we have to give our AEW no, man no, picks? Any order you want. Any order, any order you want. You I just need to fill it out by the end. Okay. So, I need to do process of animation here. I feel like... Talk us through your strategy. I think my AEW ones, I don't think are going to be taken. I think I can save them to last. Right. I think WWE Man is, if you're if smart in any way, you're going to take it. So, uh, even though it's not my absolute favourite pick, I feel like it's my most necessary one. Right. But if I pick my man, my woman's gone, for sure. But I feel like my man will get me more points. Okay. Um... Mm. <laughs> is he going to turn on Eric Rowan is the question but then also are you Are you? but are you going to pick Eric Rowan you know what I mean like are you going to sacrifice do you think I wouldn't I don't care about this game what <laughs> do you think I wouldn't pick things just to spite you well you can just be saying that to spite me out <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the thing is yeah you're like, totally going to get competitive with see, this see Ro- like Rowan is a decent pick but I don't think you're going to pick him Okay. I think you are just to fuck me over now. I think you are just like... <laughs> okay, mate, she's got in your head. She's in your head. See, there's no right answer for me here. Cause I, feel I am like the fiend and you're a Seth Rollins right now. In your head. In your head. I'm going to push you to that dark place where you're going to turn your back on. So you're going to hit Katie in the face with a sledgehammer. <laughs> See, there is, there's no winning here because I feel like if I, if I don't pick Rowan, you're going to pick Rowan. Are you still but happy you got first pick? What? Still happy you got first pick? Yeah, because I think this lad's going to get me shit on the points and he's going right. to fist all of you. Because when does he ever lose? Okay. Really? You know what I mean? I don't know who this lad is. Uh... Do the music. Make him say it. Did it, did it, did it. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see if you panicked. No, 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 no. Um, well, ah, my picks are like on the table. <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses. I can't see you right now. <laughs> oh, imagine being blind. Hate that. Um... <laughs> I should probably look at my phone. We're that. not going to get the questions today. No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> it's, it's you have them written down. Just say it. No, I don't have the order written down. So I see, I've got like three. I'm trying to narrow it down. Fuck it. Roman Reigns. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Wait, you're, you're next, yeah? Right, so yeah. you're Katie, you're up. Okay, so I'm going to go my WWE woman. Okay. I'm picking Charlotte. Okay. okay. That's a solid one. Like, oh, she wasn't yeah, awesome she's, she's that's champ, a good pick. She's the only thing I'd say about Charlotte is she's not necessarily on TV as much these days. Charlotte was my alternate. Oh, by the way, once you've said it, that's it. You're locked but in. But she's already a champion, and I think they're going to go for the 16 reigns. So there's a good chance, yes, she might lose, but she might win again before WrestleMania. It's, it's the, she was one of my like standby picks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out of left field for my first. I swear pick. to God, you say Again, what you're, say. you're thinking about like you're thinking about availability. You're thinking about like I swear you say people it. who are definitely gonna get like people who are definitely gonna get your points. I'm gonna go with a tag team. Fuck you. For the Don't first do one, it. I'm gonna go for the Viking Raiders. <laughs> All right. All right. Now <laughs> the reason for this is they're on Raw every single week. And they have a tag title they match. They always win, and they've got a tag title match coming up. So they're going to win a belt but also, very soon. just to cut across it, 
I suppose you can do trades and you can kind of sub them out later on, but I'm thinking as well, long term, big picture, WrestleMania. Like, I'm thinking of everything right now, you know what I mean? I think at WrestleMania, that sounds like when they'll be in a big match. Like, after WrestleMania, I think they could be fucked, but I think for the next six months, it's going to be their division. It's not mad how close WrestleMania is, though. I wasn't even, I didn't even realize yeah. that. As I'm saying it to you, I'm like, yeah, I think in long term. I'm not. WrestleMania is only, yeah, six months six away. Six months, yeah. Survivor Series is the start. So, my second pick. For this, I'm going someone who thinks going to be on TV. Someone who also, I'm looking at that Royal Rumble bonus, and I'm looking at someone, I'm thinking about the main event of WrestleMania, so I was torn between one or two here, and I'm going to go with the person that I think they're going for a big push with, and around Royal Rumble season, they're going to be, so I was gonna, I was looking at Kofi here, I was looking at Kofi here, because I'm like, Kofi could win the Rumble against Brock. He's a possibility. He wins. I swear. I swear if you say bit. it, I'm going to knock you clean out. <laughs> My second pick, I'm going for Kevin Owens. Oh. Because I think he's going to win the Rumble. But also, if he doesn't, he's going to win a lot on TV. Anyway, Kevin Owens. They're pushing him big. Yeah, Kevin Owens is one of my backup plans. Yeah. He, was, he was in there. He's you know one of my you know four kind of backup plans. Is it me again? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going for my WWE tag team. And again, a little bit out of left field. Don't. Don't. Okay. Don't. I'm going with the Kabuki Warriors. Fuck it. That actually wasn't my pick, but that was literally my plan B. Good show. Yeah, because they've just become champions, but also the women's tag division is very thin. Yeah. So I have an established tag team. I think they'll be on TV a lot. But what if, like, next week, Bailey and Sasha just win it? Because they don't have belts now. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> It'll be no, I think it's introduced to Mist. I feel like that's going to play a big... Yeah. yeah, I think they're just catching on yeah. now. They've got rid of pain. No, Did you see? We forgot to mention this. Did anyone see their promo in Japanese on Raw? No. no? It's fucking epic. Go out of your way to see it. I wish I brought it up. Uh, it's so good because they just do a full-on Japanese promo as if everyone understands them. Okay. But they're putting inflections on They're like... Hule, hule, hule. Ah! And it's just like... I'm, I'm trying not to do this without saying a racist. But like... It was fucking good. <laughs> it was so. I didn't want to be offensive. It was so fucking good, and it's getting a dumb cross. Americans hate foreigners now, especially more now more than ever <laughs> in a Donald Trump world. So like that really got heat with the crowd. It worked really well. Keen, right? The Kabuki Warriors is a great pick. That was yeah, my second. That was my, that was my second choice tag team. Um, my fear was that you used to take my first. I get picked two now, don't I? Yep. So my fear was that you used to take my tag team because it's not only a team that. I think are going to get me points, but a team I want to see get me points in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan and Harper. Yeah. 100%. And that's Rowan. not even a bad pick. In 2019, that's not a bad pick. No. How good is it to be a wrestling fan right now? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that's a, that counts as a legitimate pick. Um... So yeah, I did, I nearly I nearly went to Rowan as my man, like uh, over like reigns and shit. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, Rowan Harper, I think they're gonna do fucking bits the next six months. Um, mm. so now I have a choice to make. I think I'm. What categories are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm safe with AEW women and I'm safe with AEW tag team. Okay. Um, I think you've picked your WWE woman? Yeah. And you haven't. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, I haven't. But I've one pick for my WWE woman and if you pick her, there's two others that would get me a shit ton of yeah, points as well. I'm the exact same. So really, I can leave that to last. That's yeah. not actually an issue for me. Um, but my, my AEW man is. Uh, so I'm going to go with Pac. As oh, I had him. That's, oh. that's, that's my pick. That's a good pick. I had him. He was literally like not next, but the one after. He was yeah. my number one in AEW. He was my number four. Oh, is he? No. Have you ordered in like what you're gonna go with category? Wise? Like I'm my ideal eight. My, uh, yeah, mine. I don't have my order of when I'm gonna call them, but I have them like yeah. Oh, I've thought about order. That's like one. That's the thing that wins and loses your drafts. Like thinking yeah, about order. I should have. I should have done it. Uh, Katie. Okay, I'm gonna go with my AEW woman. Um, I'm going to go with Hakura Shida. Oh. Because I think the Joshis are going to be a big part. She's on all their signage. She's the big person on their production trucks. Uh, I think that she's going to end up in a lot of six-person tags and stuff as well if she doesn't end up going for the title. So that's my pick. There's, there's no bad picks, really. There's a, like an AEW women's thing. It's kind of like... We don't know we, yet. Yeah, we're all just kind of guessing. So it's like... I mean, I personally, like, I love Leva Bates to bits. I nearly picked her just because she's, like, one of my favorites. But I, I wouldn't, like, right now. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But besides her and, like, I don't know, like, Brandy. I, and even then, Brandy, you never know. Like, you just never know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. She could, like, she's going to get a big push at one stage. 
I just don't but think w- yet. Will it sustain the six months though? Do you know what I mean? No, like, but like she, I think she might get a big push from month four into six. By which stage you've got no points, yeah. and then you start getting the points, but it might be too late. So I, I did think about Brandy, but I'm gonna also gonna go for my AEW woman now, uh, and I'm gonna pick Rio because she's just won a belt. She's just won a belt, yeah. so she's not dropping that anytime soon. So she's gonna get a lot of tighter attentions. Um, <laughs> now I don't. You see, now I don't know who to pick. It's not even that like there's no one to pick. But the best it's ones tough. are probably gone, and I don't know who to pick out of the three I have left. <laughs> it's tough. Um, I'm going to go for my AEW man next. Okay. I'm going to go MJF. Fuck you! Fucking I had him as well. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> and part of that is, like, like, part, like, I'm nervous about that because he's a heel. But like he'll win, yeah, he he'll win a lot, but also he'll lose big matches, and he'll get his comeuppance on the regular as well. So, I, I but I want to have, I want, I want to cheer him on. I want to have higher stakes like that you do when you have someone in front of you. So awful, that's so awful because I know I think he's gonna do really well. And now, now this is the thing. See, like now I can't enjoy because I'm like, can I cheer MGF now? Because then Rick's gonna be win. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's more stakes now. This is oh, awesome. I'm such a fan fucking. of this. Thank you so but much. Yeah, Keith. do you know why I love this? By the way, thanks Keith a lot for this because now matches that would otherwise mean nothing on TV yeah. mean a lot to us. Yeah, you know, kind of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna actually. I'd love. I, see, my only issue now is like, what about if like your wrestler's wrestling Katie's wrestler? Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. actually, can we? Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. If, I mean, keep doing your picks, but can I, can we just like write out what everyone has? So I, far? I have it. I yeah, have I'm it. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Can you actually? I've, oh, I've, okay. I've everyone's. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So don't worry. It's it's covered. Uh, and Katie. Okay, uh, my AEW man. I'm just gonna go for Cody because Fair. he is in the booking. He is booking himself <laughs> yeah. in big matches <laughs> a yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he'll book himself a title reign, but I don't think he's going to book himself to lose either. Mm. And I think he's going to be on TV See, a lot. I was nervous about the AEW lads, like the the guys who run it, the Cody, the Young Bucks, and uh, Kenny Omega, because I think they've got this kind of wankery thing where they're like, like Kenny Omega's on a losing streak. He hasn't won a one on one match. I think they've got this wankery thing where we're like, we're showing that we're 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 in this for the good of the business. We're not gonna. So like, there's like the only that made me nervous about Cody if he's like, I'm just here to, you know, I've had my run, guys. I'm just here to put guys over. Like after he gets his title match, I could totally mm. see him going that wankery way um, you see if you say that but then if they, if they were to like win the whole time we'd be complaining as well there's no winning for them like. it's yeah. not even that it's that like if, if they did go that way it'd be like whatever but like um, from a picking him standpoint yeah, that yeah. just gave me cold feet on him you know what I mean no, I think whereas I, I know they're gonna push MJF to the fucking hill yeah. you know what I mean oh fuck you got two picks Fuck. Right, well, my, AU, my AW woman can, I can save to last now because you have both done yours. Yeah, so that's, that's, good, that's good logic. So I've got my tag team, my second AW man, my second WWE man. Well, have I, I haven't picked my WWE woman yet, have I? No. Have you? Um, No, I haven't. Okay, so that's... Oh, but that's such a tough one. Like, Oh, man, this is really hard. So, fuck. Um, yes, right. Okay, let me... So, sorry if this uh, podcast is a lot of M's and U's and uh's. Talk, talk us through your what, what Okay, so let's see who I have names. to pick. My second WWE man, I don't think you are going to pick. You might. Oh, I might actually pick him. That's not. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, WWE woman, again. I, it's someone who. You see, I, I don't even know if I want to pick her now. Because I had her down, I'm like. I'm thinking winning. See, I don't want to go... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I put my glasses on as yeah. well now. <laughs> he keeps leaving his phone on the table. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not used to this. Um, don't be sorry. Leave it there all you want, No, pal. no. <laughs> but then it's like, my WWE woman is kind of like... It's really, it's heart and head stuff. You know what I mean? So but, it's Becky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Fuck, I'm going to put my cards on the table. It is Becky. I can't elaborate. It's like... Because I don't know if you have my other picks. Mm, yeah. Mm, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I can tell you for a fact that I have no plans of picking Becky. Yeah, but you see, that means nothing because you'd be lying. <laughs> I could be. This is it's a game of poker. But I'm also thinking. I've I've gener- I've no plans of picking Becky. <laughs> this is so hard to decide. Like I'm just like, 
But is Becky even the right option? Is that even the good option to pick right now? She's could the I, biggest I, star in the could company. Could I be psyching out? Yeah, like, she's not going to lose very often. Could I be psyching out, though? Could I be just, like, trying to get in your head? Well, who are you picking then? Because I have my pick sorted. That's not Becky, but it's also, like... Oh, I'm, I'm set for this. You see, I don't know if you are or not. I think you are. I think you've looked way too much into this to not be aware of... Yeah, but what would I choose to share with you is what you have to think. Why would I choose to be so open about this? <laughs> What's my motivation? <laughs> Lads, you don't understand. Because I very much want to win, like... Right, men... You see, the thing about the men is there's, there's good options. I have two picks. I haven't picked... You have two picks now. Okay, I think... With the AEW men, I have a decision to make, and I feel like if you picking your other AEW men would narrow down my decision making. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, my AEW tag team's nailed on, and if you pick it, it's one of three. So fuck you. Um, oh, so I'm choosing AEW. So to cho- all right. So basically, I, my, my two picks come from three: WWE men, WWE women, or AEW men. <sighs> um. Oh. <laughs> so Katie is going to pick the category that you pick after you. What? <laughs> Katie's following our order. Oh, am I? Yeah. Just subconsciously? <laughs> yeah. That's what probably. have you not picked? I haven't picked WWE men, either one. It, that's a bold move. Fucking hell. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like... I'm like, going to pick that next. Are you? Yeah. I haven't got much left. <laughs> Ooh. You see, now that does shape me. That, like... But you picked your woman. Yeah. So it's kind of like that's a big thing. I'm Ian, not going to pick Becky. Pick someone. Yeah, we do need you to pick. Sorry, you sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, that's gonna, the worst thing you're going to do to him. Yeah. <laughs> him the spot. I am going to pick my WWE man first. Okay. Big E. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> that's how you're putting me on the spot. I wasn't even. I was going to go with my my woman and then AEW after that. So well, you. you have another pick now. <laughs> You had two picks in a row. Yeah, yeah. Just pick. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, Keen, I'm really hungry. <laughs> uh, That's not gonna help. <laughs> yeah, starve. Oh, kill. He'll do it like better nature. See, AEW men with a sad wrestling every week. You know what I mean? I'm thinking. Mm, mm, I'm gonna go with my WWE woman. We know it's Becky. No, he has one of three options. And I'm fuck it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. With Becky Lynch. Oh, that means I can need my WWE woman to last. Nice one. Yeah. Um. Sweet. Uh. Katie, you're okay. up. Okay. I'm gonna go for my WWE man. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go for Finn Balor. Yeah, that was one of my. Oh, nice. Like. Um. Yeah, because he's just on NXT. He's yeah. not gonna lose a lot. My worry was that with NXT, they don't have everyone on every week. But I think we're yeah. going two hours. He'll be on more frequently. I don't. I still don't think he'd be on as much as the SmackDown. Or I Raw think wrestler. he's going for a title contention as well. He could win the NXT title. Okay. Oh, I'm so cute. Oh yeah. no! She now this ruins the moment for me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm picking Finn Balor for that. Um. Okay. So I've got two picks. First I'm off, so full of regret. <laughs> I am gonna go for my AEW tag team. All right. A team that I think they're going to be building around. I think the team oh, I that realized. I think are going to be are going to win a lot. Uh, they're going to hold the belts, and uh, they're going to have fun while doing so because they're a private party. That's who I'm going for. Um, that is so out of left field. I I was like, there's three options here for tag teams, and that's not one of them. <laughs> so, I think they're, they're I think they're the stars. I think they're the the breakout stars. But are they going to break out in the next six months? Oh yeah, I think they're winning the tag tournament over the Luchasaurus. The Jurassic Trio. Express were on it because I wanted to cheer for them, but I don't think they're going to win because I don't think over the next team. six months. I don't think I don't think they're going to be tag team champions because they don't need it. They're they're still going to be entertaining. But do you not think they're going to have their big happy moment? Yeah, like, but that's one. The, the people who but, have their the baby faces who have their happy moments lose a lot in the build up to that, and then they, that's why their moment is happy because it's like they did it, <sighs> they did it, they stopped losing and they won. Yeah, good point. Fuck. Someone else I'm going to go for. No, actually, I'm not going to go for them because I, I have my backup if I don't get them. Um, I can leave my WWE women to last. So I have one, two, three, four. One, two, I've only three, got three picks four, left. Four, <laughs> five, Grand. Three picks. So WWE women, WWE man. I'm going to leave them. So an AEW man. Uh, Hangman Page. 
Wanker. Yeah, that was. Really <laughs> See, that wasn't. It wasn't my main pick, but like, like I my head. Really like him. That's my, yeah, thing, exactly. Yeah. My head is like, I know he's gonna win loads. They yeah. love him to bits, yeah. but my heart is like, I just don't want him to win. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh no. Okay. Right. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go for my WWE man. This one, I'm not sure I have enough knowledge to pick, but it seems solid to me. I'm gonna go with Drew Gulak. Oh, because he's always in and around the cruiserweight title. Okay, he gets onto pay per views because he's a reliable hand does for that division. Does the pre-show count? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it all counts. But like, does the pre-show count? Oh, it would count as pay per view. Like yeah, he'll, yeah. like he'll, he'll be on WrestleMania weekend. You know, he might get into the rumble. He's one of the better known two hundred five live guys. Mm. He's always in and around the title chase. Oh fuck, that might be the best pick so far. So I'm gonna go Drew Gulak. I, I, I don't think it's a good pick, and the reason I don't is because I don't think. But it, like we're starting this, so this is going out on Friday morning. So will we start it from SmackDown tonight. Yeah. All right. So SmackDown tonight, we're starting this from. I think. Because we're taping this on Wednesday before NXT. Oh, that's what... Oh. Drew Gulak is wrestling Leo Rush for the title on NXT tonight. Is he? I don't think he's going to be champion, like, by the time this even starts. Oh, man, if Leo Rush I wins... Yeah, but he's Leo... always in and around the title picture. He's never far from it. You don't get me. If Leo Rush wins, I will cry. That is so cool. There you go. And, like, and, is... and Katie's draft gets shot off. Are, off. are, are they going to put on Leo Rush this quickly? Yes. Yes, yes they will. They're going to do stuff. I d- oh, I'm so convinced. Well, people know now. People listening know by the time they hear it what happens. Oh, my so. God. I hope it don't sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Two picks. So, are you, are you, these are last picks. No, I have one. three. So, my AEW man, AEW women, AEW tag team. Um, have you chose your AEW? You both chose your AEW women. Yeah. So, I yeah. leave that to last. Um, AEW tag team, Santana and Ortiz, my boys. Okay, that's fair. And, uh, yeah, yeah they'll uh, do well. We're thinking Young Bucks and Lucha Bros, but... Yeah. I just, I love them. I want to be able to cheer them fully, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and I think they're yeah. decent picks as well, yeah. so it's a good mix. Um, AEW man, so it was MJF. He was nailed on, 100%. My, my, I was confident in packing MJF, so now that I'm left with three options... There oh, are my two, too. Oh, fucking hell. Like my, oh, I shouldn't be throwing out names, so I don't want to help you, but like, for the listener's sake, I mean... No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> I'm... You see, again, it's heart or head. You know what I mean? Well, like, you're done with AEW men after this. Yeah. So, like, it doesn't matter. Like, what you pick is going to be what you think is the best. Yeah. So, like, you don't want to give... I've chosen both of my AEW men. So you're not helping me. Oh, have you, Katie? So now, uh, no, I've won Katie's one. chosen one, but, Who like... you chose? I chose Cody. Cody. Yes. But okay. you, you like, the, what she gets is your leftovers, what you don't choose. So you can talk us through the two that you're thinking. Do you know what I mean? But, but Even she, if she decides to go with that. My, my leftover could be someone that's way better than who she would have otherwise picked because she's not even thinking of that leftover. That's almost guaranteed that it's going to be better than you. <laughs> yeah, so... Right. Oh, fuck. I forgot to write down a name here. Oh, well, just fuck it. I'll just say it. For the sake of the listener, um, my three I have written in front of me are Guevara, Janela, and Moxley. Oh. Those are the Risky tri- ones. I only had one of them on my list, so... Moxley? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking shout out to Nicola, maybe. But is Moxley, I don't see Moxley wrestling every week. No. And I don't see him. But it's risky. But he'll he lo- win a lot. Has he lost in AEW? He hasn't wrestled in AEW. Oh, oh well, now you're, now you're really swaying me like. Joey Janela, he'll, he'll lose a lot. Yeah. Um, Darby Allen, they seem to be proper into. Mm. He's got a number one contenders match, doesn't he? was thinking he? about, yeah. He was Darby, I was thinking about. Because, I mean, he drew with Cody, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then who's he, who's he facing? Jimmy Havoc? Yes. I think Jimmy Havoc could lose as well. This is a this is a hard one. There's a lot to this. Um Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really I'm sorry for dragging this out. It's just so no, hard. You're good, you're good. Um you I'm gonna rule out Kavara. I'm gonna rule out Janela. And even though I don't have Darby Allen written down, it's now between Darby Allen and Moxley. I'm not gonna go with Omega. I'm not gonna go with um Hang on a minute. Omega's gonna win the belt at some stage. But is it going to be within the next six months? Kenny Omega's real name is Tyson. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His real name is almost like cooler than his actual... Tyson Smith. That's a deadly name. Not Smith, no. Well, <laughs> no, no, Smith's yeah. bollocks, but... <laughs> Tyson Omega. Yeah. No, I cannot. Kenny's better. Yeah. <laughs> now that you think about it. But, oh, what was I going to say a second ago? Could I pick a singles wrestler from a tag team who wins tag team matches? Pentagon? 
Oh shit! Well, I didn't even think. Go chase, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. Oh fucking hell! So I could do that. You couldn't, Terry. I could choose Mister or Mister Book. I don't. Yeah. You oh, could. You I could. could. You could. Wait, have you picked your tag teams? No. So that rules out a tag team too. You see what I mean? There's a lot to this. <laughs> it's very technical. I'm going to win a lot. I'm looking up the AEW roster really quick. I'm so sorry. <laughs> List of eight all elite wrestling personnel. Wikipedia, you're my best friend. And Helico, no. Brandon Cutler, shit that burns. Uh, Jericho, no. Um, oh, there's a lot of names on here. Yeah, Darby Allen jumps out at me. Jake Hager. See, I think he's gonna win a lot at the start, but what's? I think he'll be muscle for most of it. I think he's gonna be like accompanying people. I think he yeah, might be. He'll probably be in tag team matches, and I, I just don't think I don't. Do you see them putting like the title on Jake Hager? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They, they, he was their big thing at the... Keep in mind as well that they build him as, like, Bellator 2-0. and So they see him as, like, a crossover star. That's, uh, that's, that, that's not a big deal to us, but that's a big deal to them. Because they're still trying to get their foot in the door kind of way. Uh, I'm going to say no to him, though. <laughs> that's for, <laughs> Good logic. Jimmy Havoc, I'm going to rule out. It's sad. I thought yeah, about him. So I thought, right. But, I mean, for thinking... Jonathan Good, it says here. That's that's John Moxie. I know his real name because I'm pals with him. So, uh, John Moxie. Old oh, JG. I'm gonna read out. I'm gonna read out Kip Sabian. He won't be on it every week. No. Um, Marco Stunt. No. The. See, this is the thing. We don't know who will be on it every week. We've no feel for what AEW Dynamite's gonna be like in terms of who's gonna wrestle. Are there gonna be people that are on? Hang it on a fucking minute. Are we counting AEW Dark? I guess so. Yeah. Oh. Televised. Yeah. Oh, but it's not televised. Is well, it? it's YouTube vised. Oh, it'd be way better if we didn't count that. <laughs> but that's just my opinion, you know. Keith, you let us know. You're the, Keith, you're the boss. I personally... You, what, you just... You can't let us know afterwards. You know what I mean? Like, this is a huge part of the decision-making. Because um, Kip Sabian's going to be on Dark. Right, you know we'll I mean? go Dynamite then. Yeah, just Dynamite? Dynamite, yeah. Because it's on TV, yeah. Because, yeah, we're not going to count main event for WWE. Thank like, you. Yeah, yes, yeah, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um... So then we can read out like the librarian. I, well, I'm not, you know, I'm going to read out Sean Spears. Fuck Sean Spears, man. I thought about Sean Spears. Like he was so on the list of six. So the tag teams have opened up. I'm sorry, the, the tag teams have opened up a huge thing now. Pe- I put I picked Pentagon over Phoenix. That narrows it down. Pentagon, one of the young books. Pentagon, one of the young books. Moxley or uh, Darby Allen. Who's going to win titles? Is a big one. Surely Moxley win a title. Surely he's a big name, like yeah. But you build that up. You don't do that. Like, they already they are building up though. They're already kind of built yeah, it up. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? For a laugh, will we just go with Moxley? That's I'm not annoying, Katie. <laughs> oh yeah, that was your pick. Ooh, you see, we now have helped her with the tag team thing. I am gonna go with Moxley. Okay. That's so reluctant. That's okay. so hard. I'm going with Moxley. Okay. Right. So, I talks. guess I have to pick my AEW man. Well, no, because you're last to pick it, aren't you? Or, Rick, have you picked your two men? Uh, or I have to do my tag team. I'm stuck on AEW. I'm going to be honest. I don't really know a lot about AEW tag teams. Well, I'm not helping you, so. Um, you. <laughs> I didn't ask you to. Yeah, but um, you, you need it, though. Don't lie. <laughs> so this one, I'm just going to pick the tag team I like. Um, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Solid. Locked in. I just like them. Locked in. All right, fair enough. So you locked that in. Good. Yeah, I've no in. reasoning. So it's a Rick's turn to pick uh, now. We all picked. Yeah, we've okay, all picked. Okay, cool. That was the dumbest pick ever. That was a, a proper dumb pick. Really? Yeah, but it's locked in now. Are they so not going to be on telly a lot? They're going to be. People a, really they're like not them. winning though. Yeah, but they'll be on telly. It's a solid five points every time they are. Oh, they? <laughs> oh, fuck! I forgot about that rule. Yeah, but they don't win though. Yeah, Slow but they might win. Actually, <laughs> random one. The the tag team with the best because I looked up win loss records and all for this. Oh Jesus! The tag team with the that. best win loss record in AEW. Who do you think it is? Well, it could be them. It's SCU. Yeah, yeah, there. Mm. But I don't think that's gonna last. No, I don't think so either. But it's an interesting one. I looked up, so I've got two left. These are my last picks. Um, I looked up win loss records, like I said. Oh, I think SCU are gonna win it now. Fuck. Um, <laughs> there's two people. Uh, like. You've picked both your men. Katie, you still have a WWE man to pick, don't you? No, I have an AEW man to pick. Who's your... Oh, Drew Gulak. Right, so I can give you my two that I was torn between. The best, the person with the best win-loss record in WWE today, and in terms of like the amount of matches they wrestle as well, the most amount of matches, like so every week on Raw, I've done the research. It's right here. Ricochet. 
Yeah, that was one of my, that was one of my uh, alternates. He is on everything. If there's a SmackDown, a big Raw or SmackDown, they want to showcase the world, they'll put Ricochet on there because he can do cool flips. He's going to win belts. He's going to contend. He's going to be there and there. Oh. My, my, if you guys picked Ricochet, my pick that I was bragging about that you guys would not have off the air, we're having a lot of banter, and I'm like, you're not going to get my pick. My backup pick there was someone who also is on TV regularly and has a great win-loss record, Baron Corbin. Yeah, ah, I was yeah. thinking of him. Yeah. I was wait, are we all done? WWE men? Oh yeah, WWE men are done. So we're all done, all three of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was thinking Andrade. I was thinking Ali. I was thinking Styles. I was thinking Braun. Who else? I think. Yeah, uh, all, all of them. I'd not Andrade because he's not on TV every. Week. Is he not? AJ was one I was looking at. I had AJ as well. I'm so full of regret picking Big E. I think that was a really bad move. Yeah, honestly. I think it was. Now, New Day, if they have a run, then it's an interesting one. If they get the titles back. Yeah, it counts. That's still a title or if match. there's a turn. My, I, but I'm thinking more Big E comes back after Brock for revenge, is what I was thinking. Because mm. I really want that to happen. I think it could happen. Right. My last pick is WWE Women. I, I know I, it, 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 you guys are both picked, so I can talk you through my top process. Okay, cool. Shayna Bay is the yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm yeah. not saying it's her. I'm not saying that's who I'm going I mind we're both from NXT. Shayna Baszler wins a lot, yeah. and she's going to get called up. Like, we don't know when. She could get called up. She could stay for a are, while. Are there still call-ups? Yeah, this is the thing. She could she could get brought up, or she could stay for a while. She doesn't wrestle every week, so I'm nervous. NXT, you don't wrestle every week anyway, necessarily. Um, so I'm nervous with her. So who I'm going with is the woman with the best win and loss record in WWE, taking into account the amount of matches she wrestles. I'm going with Bailey. True story. Best win loss record. Bailey doesn't lose unless it's like a big match. So that's locked in. Bailey wins all the time. That's locked in. Yeah. You picked your woman. Yeah. I picked my woman. So I was gonna go with Io Shirai. Io Shirai yeah. and Shayna were my two that I was thinking. Them two yeah. are Becky. So we've all gone with a horse woman. Interesting. Oh, and obviously yeah. Katie had the Kabuki Warriors as well, which takes out like kind of a big yeah. pick Asuka as well. Asuka was my second pick for a woman. Yes. Yeah, Asuka was So was mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 all right. That, no, but I do like that as your tag team pick. Because, yeah, no, that's, they're gonna, that's a uh, light division. They're going to dominate it for a while. Yeah. So I like, I like that more the more I oh, think I about it. I don't like my picks, man. Now, the more I think about it, I'm like, I fucked this up. This is like when I get, at the start of fantasy football, I'm like, I really like Ireland. I'm going to put Jeff Hendrick in my team. Then he doesn't start. <laughs> I'm like, oh. So I get to pick my AEW man now. AEW man. Okay, so now I'm having a quick look at their win loss record. And Cody has the best win loss record in AEW. Yeah, for now, like. Just, but yeah. But I think win loss record is a horrible thing to look at now for AEW. For WWE, yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah. But for AEW, I think it's a bad idea. I just so needed to remind the roster, and I was just interested in it anyway. Yeah, so yeah. Time. There's only a handful of people who've wrestled on every show, and uh, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are. Two of them, so like that that might be okay. I'm gonna get solid points they on. They are on TV. There, I did. Yeah. I, I'll admit, I forgot the TV pick. You know the way it's like, even if they lose, they're there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is someone who has been on a lot of shows and has a good win loss record of 75. percent I'm gonna go Christopher Daniels. Oh, do you think he's gonna be there every week? Oh, no, but they, the tag team as well. Oh, they could. They could. Yeah. They he's could he's solid. Titles. He is going to be there every week. And if he's doing tag team stuff. And he's always, Christopher Daniels, no matter what iteration of SEU they go with, Christopher Daniels is always in it, unless he's wrestling a singles match. That's actually a sneaky good pick. Will I try what my uh, other WWE tag... Oh, wait, no. What Have you picked your tag teams in WWE? You're the last yeah, pick. You're the last oh, so you've all picked everything? Yeah, yeah. Everything's picked. Art as a Pain was my little uh, out, out of the box oh, kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I know they're not, but what, like, when they're back, they're going to be winning every time. Who's going to beat them? Yeah. But then I, my heart could not turn away Rowan. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I, just, I get it. And it is a solid pick, too. Sometimes you have to have fantasy players in your team who you just want to support. Yeah, because I mean, it, it ruins wrestling it. for me if I can't like cheer yeah. on... Oh Don't yeah, I wanted to pick the Miz, but he doesn't wrestle anymore. He no, just he doesn't. hosts. Like. Yeah, yeah. Shows, yeah, That's smart. Actually, if you picked the Miz, I'd been really funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so my last pick is what AEW woman. Sorry, I, I, you I have an open goal, so you can just chat freely. I now. assume we've no questions to answer on this week's logo. No, it's not, no, I'm no. really sorry. <laughs> no, we've got a bumper edition next week, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a fucking. That's gonna be thick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Never th- use that word thick again. With two <laughs> thick ass low blows. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna go. All right. So the three I have. Do you know what? Why even bother writing them down? The, the, the women's division is thin. So it's Nyla Rose, Britt Baker, and Penelope Ford. They're the three that I have written down. I, what do you, well, why would you pick? 
I know, but that's the yeah. Oh, I get you mean. A, like, it's there's not no a great option. Like, um, I think they have big plans for Britt Baker. Yeah, they do. Um, I think Penelope Ford is a wild card, but I don't think I should. Like, no. if my heart isn't, it, you know, isn't there. If my heart's not like I really want to see Penelope Ford win. No, I'm neutral on her. She seems kind of cool, but I don't think she's going to be the the major players. At least not from the start. You know yeah. what I mean? She's like someone that a year from now could win about. Yeah, not the yeah. Next few months. Nyla Rose, they're going to do something with. She's but gonna win a lot. I feel like if they're, it, she like, I think last week was the time for her to win the title. If they weren't gonna do it then, they were gonna wait a while. Do you know what I mean? Do you think that she's gonna be that kind of like say dominant person then that wins every week, like in squash matches and so on, like a Braun Strowman type? Oh, um, or do you think that she's just gonna disappear off TV until they're ready to use her and she just goes on dark for a while? Like it's a tough one because we don't know with AEW yet. Oh, that is a tough one. The this is the really, really hard one. So actually, all right, no, do you know what? Fuck, I'm gonna look at the roster. That's cool with you. <laughs> yeah. For um, me, for, uh, like, uh, uh, no, I'm not even playing mind games now because I'm really happy with my picks. But like, for me, I go Brick because I'm like, she's the 100 percent guarantee they're pushing her. I'm leaning that way. Um, Ali, I'm ruling out. Awesome Kong, I loved a bit, but it says nah. here she's like she's a production. She's a coach, isn't she? Yeah, coach, agent, whatever. So I'm ruling her out. Be Priestley, no. Brandy Rhodes, um, no. I, I don't want to see it. So like, yeah. um, Sa- Sadie Gibbs, no. Sadie. Sadie? Sadie Gibbs. Yeah, I'm going to say no to that. Rio. <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> Velasquez was Sadie. Sadie, <laughs> Sadie I'm going to keep saying Sadie. It's spelled like Sadie. Her so name I'm is gonna... Sadie. Well... It's wrong. It's a really <laughs> common name, it's, yeah, it? like it's, <laughs> I, I don't know any Sadie. Don't, ta- don't, act, don't sit there and look at me like you know Sadie's. I have an Auntie Sadie. My, no, you don't. My, yes, I do. <laughs> my uncle and auntie's dog is named Sadie Bassett. It's, it's not a real name. Um, right. <laughs> Sadie Gibbs. Rio, Rio Sadie was, was my pick. Um, Leave a bait. I loved a bit, but no, I can't. So it literally is Britt Baker, Nyla Rose. Oh, you, oh, you picked the Caro. That's who it was. Um, what? I picked... Hikaru oh yeah, Shida. Shida, yeah. And who did you pick again? Oh, Rio. Rio. Fuck you. I hate you actually Rio. so much. Okay, so we're down to two. It's Nyla or Britt Baker. I am going to go with... You see, if I pick Britt Baker, it gives me a reason to give a shit about Britt Baker. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It kind of enhances my experience a bit. <laughs> and I think she'll probably win a few. Like, I doubt... She's a heel, yeah? Britt Baker. Yeah. I just no, know she's, she's a dentist. Their, she's their baby face. But then she'll lose a lot, won't she? No, but Rio's... No, like, they have to build her up. But then Rio's like... Oh, they do have to build her up. That's a good point. Do you know why he's... Ta- I know he's taking this draft really seriously because he hasn't keen faved anything in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how I know you're taking this super seriously. <laughs> that's a weird one, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't... Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck it. That's a mind fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, my head's telling me Nyla, but I really want to go with Britt Baker, so I'm going to very reluctantly go with... But you told me to go with Britt Baker. <laughs> I wasn't playing You told games. me to go with Baker, and you want me to lose. He doesn't write AEW. Yeah, I don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> but he could think that like Nyla's going to do well, and he could be right. I you even spoke out my logic for why I think you need both Brit over Nyla. I'm going to go Brit. Fuck it. I'm going to go Brit. Ah, you were the dentist, you <laughs> sap! <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was <laughs> okay, <messing yeah. laughs> oh, man. There so, we have it. So, 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 what are the final teams then? The final teams. Corbett Keen, you have Rowan Reigns, Harbour and Rowan, Pack, Biggie. That looks shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Wait, go by like brand, because that's kind of fucking my head a bit, if you can. Your uh, WWE men are Roman Reigns and Biggie. Your WWE tag team are Harper and Rowan. Your WWE woman is Becky Lynch. Uh, your AEW men are Pac and Moxley. Your AEW tag team is Santina Ortiz. And your AEW woman is Britt Baker. I think my AEW ones are solid. My WWE ones are a bit ropey. Becky Lynch, I'm nervous about. Biggie, it could be. It, it's really it's hit, it's hit or miss. You don't know. Like he, it could. It's either going to be the best pick of the lot or the worst pick of the lot. And I don't know which. I definitely don't think it's the best. <laughs> but I think, I think like, a, like a few weeks from now you know what I mean like I know like right uh, now New Day aren't on a high but like they're going to do something with them you know what I mean like, they will get used they'll be on TV or they've I, been used a lot and they're going to give them a break don't you dare <laughs> don't I mean, you Kofi's probably going to disappear for a while fuck oh. off no yeah but they wouldn't get rid of the whole fuck off would no. they not 
No, oh would they stop, not? Stop saying that. Stop. We'll stop. find out. We'll find out. And this, this and will set not, the if tone he's, now for the next week. If he's not part of the week. draft, I like. If, yeah. he's not, if he's not on next week, I'm going to try to do a transfer or whatever if we can. I think one transfer a week, obviously we'll have to consult uh, Keith, but I think one transfer a week, and if you don't use it... That seems like cheating. But we no, have to negotiate. Cheating. We have to negotiate, like, who gets what, like, first pick. Because you can only pick one person. You can't just draft anyone into your thing. So you can't just turn around and say... Oh, I want Brock Lesnar. You know what I mean? It's like, what if both of us want Brock Lesnar per week? You oh, oh I, mean? I get no. So yeah, I think it goes it. based on, like, and we have to do it on ass low blows. I think it goes based on, like, so you the last pick. So then it's KE, me, you. And then it goes in snake order that way. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So, so first pick, Katie, you get first pick of transfer. If you want to keep your team, your grand, then we move it that way. Katie, your team, Finn Balor, Drew Gulak for the men, uh, Charlotte for the WWE women, the Kabuki Warriors for the tag team. Uh, you've got Cody and Christopher Daniels for the AEW men, Jurassic Park, Jurassic, Park, Jurassic Express for the tag team, and Hakura Shida for the women. For me, it is Kevin Owens and Ricochet for the WWE men, Viking Raiders for the tag team, and and Bailey for the women. Uh, for AEW, it's MJF and Hangman. Private Party for the tag team. And Rio for the women. I think it's a nice even draw. This is an interesting yeah. one. Yeah. And like the There's transfers, no clear winner. The transfers make it even more interesting as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just a thought of like, or oh man, I'm loving this. I'm actually loving this. Uh, we'll continue this on both shows. I send think. me a screenshot. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, be watching yeah. wrestling very closely now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll continue this. Yeah, yeah. But I think we gotta go home. I'm so sorry <laughs> again. I'm sorry because I know most people listen probably want to hear the questions, but. This is really fun. <laughs> so, oh Hopefully yeah. it's entertaining for the listeners. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it was. It might have been hard to keep track again. Sorry. Send us your picks, who you would have picked in no, this No, don't hijack my we'll show. <laughs> send, us, send us your picks. <laughs> of you do you know what we'll do? We'll put out the rules so if you want to do this with your mates. Because you can't do this with like a thousand people, but if you get a group of like four or five people. No, do you know what we should do? Put everyone's teams in a Twitter poll and get people to vote on who has the yeah. best team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will. We'll vote Katie. Out. Vote for... Don't, vote. Oh, shit, she's going to win. She's the most famous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but team shit. Oh, man. she just... My re- team's not shit. She retweets yeah, it on. once and she gets hang like on. 70% of the vote. You laugh at me for Big E. She chose Drew Gulak. He was going to get his head... <laughs> you won't have the belt by the time round. we... By the time they're listening to this, Leo Rush has already kicked his head in. <laughs> like, uh, I think it's a solid pick. I think... I think... I think I'll be proved right on this. We'll find out as we go, I guess. This, this is going to be mad. This is going to be mad. Um, oh, oh yeah, I was the one who signed out. It's my show. <laughs> oh, I, was wait, I was looking at Rick. I was like, so are you going to take a point to the people? No? All right. <laughs> um, yeah, Katie's team's going to get absolutely smacked around. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, and yeah, send us in your picks. I actually am genuinely curious. <coughs> Preferably, I also want to see, like, excluding who we chose, who would you choose now? You yeah. know what I mean? As what well. mistakes did we make? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what mis- if you were, yeah, if you were to adjust any of our teams, just let us know. I'm really curious. Yeah, anyway, yeah. thank you for listening. Um, yeah, bye.